Good guys, being here. So last time we did this one. Um, we used a we used um, model in place mass and to create two um, surface and then use a wall by a face. Okay, so we place wall by face onto this uh, mass. So today I'm going to show you slightly different method for this. So instead of you know uh, model in place mass and place wall by face, we can use uh, we can create an adaptive family. So okay, so um, okay, so let's let's create a new family, and uh, it will be a adaptive family so in this adaptive family we're going to place so um we need a one two three four five six seven eight eight points okay so let's just quickly place um hang on let me just uh, have a look oh sorry go back to this family one two three four just roughly place those points in don't really matter but just uh, to, um, it's easier to you know to understand <laughs> because uh, if you do it you know differently like uh, uh, how you place these points um, one two three four and then uh, maybe I'll just roughly copy them up instead of you know try to place them um, one two three four uh, let me go back again one two three four uh, and maybe um, five six seven eight okay five six seven eight so one two three four five six so I just move roughly move them into place of five six so yeah just need to make sure when we place this family so it's uh, roughly the same sequence right like one two three four five six seven eight okay so now we have all these points and we can connect them using the spline through points okay so one two two three three four and four one okay and then five six uh six seven seven eight and eight five so now we have two uh, shape, right? So one. So select both of them, make them reference uh, lines. So now if we select both of them and create a form, so this shape is very similar to the uh, blend we did last time, right? So this is not the one we want. So what we're going to do is our control Z. So we need a more like um, like uh, like a a triangular shape so um, and also this one but if we if we so for example if I select this point oh sorry this reference line together with this shape we can create a shape but this is not exactly the one we need so um, let me just actually I'll try I'll, I'll do this one as well so if I create this one and then maybe I'll draw, use joint geometry. So I'll go here, joint geometry, click this, this. So this shape. Um, oh, hang on. This, will this work? No. So you can see if I place this one here. So this, this line will not, you know, align with this one. Perpendicular, uh, sorry, parallel with this one. It will go, 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 or finish uh, here. So, so this will, you know, uh, it won't be the same thickness as this one. So, um, okay, so this won't work. So let, let's just control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. So what we're going to do is we need to add a little bit thickness on this side as well. So uh, to do that, um, we need to, so, Actually, we want to match the thickness, right? So imagine this is a thickness of a wall. This three, uh, dim, uh, the distance between three and four, and also five, six, and seven, eight, or one and two. So um, because in here, so we are using the same thickness, right? The same thickness, thick, thick, uh, sorry, thickness here, 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 and here. 
So we just need one reporting parameter so we can get that thickness. Okay, and then apply that thickness to here. So now let's do that. We need we need to create a reporting parameter. So set will plan first onto this reference line, di dimension. Pick make sure you pick the adapted point so you can see this uh, big dot, right? So and then you can select select this dimension, create a reporting parameter. Let's uh. Uh, reporting okay instance and tick the reporting parameter so now we can go place a point use draw on face and the place onto this reference reference line okay so select this point to make sure it's measured from this end right and also here use measurement type or change the measurement type from normalized curve parameter to segment length so it's measuring the distance between this point and this point so now we can apply that reporting parameter to it okay so this will make sure that the distance between this point and this point equals uh, the distance between this point and this point so we can have a test if i drag this one so we'll see it will also move that point on this line so now we just need to do the same so make sure you draw on face right and then also um uh let, let's just fi finish this one first so make sure yeah on the left hand side change this one to a segment length and apply the reporting parameter to it okay so now we just need to um need to do it do the same thing on this side i think <laughs> so yeah so place two points yep so see this time it's on the wrong uh, side we just need to flip it same okay and select both of them and segment length uh, link that reporting parameter to them okay so now this is uh, the points uh, the points we can then connect so make it reference line select connect these two make it reference line connect these two and make reference line okay so do the same connect these two reference line these two and reference line and this one this one and reference line so now we have so you can see um just make sure when you now we try to create those um those four right so uh, just make sure move your cursor onto this so it will automatically pick these three but we will need this one as well so control select so now we have one profile and the second profile will be the whole thing right so and also same so you can see when I try to pick this so this time it's no longer picking the four one two three four only picking three so we're going to control select and also control select this as well so now we can create a form so this is it okay so now I'm going to HH -H, just temporarily temporarily sorry uh, hide it and then just do the same thing on these okay so create another one now type hr to bring back this so it looks like no it's not right but that's fine we can use joint geometry and join them so now this is the one we need okay so this is it and also um because uh you might we might need to you know change the material so it's easier just create a material parameter so okay so that's all we need so now we can load this one into the project and then we can place so escape for now so i'm going to just go edit group and delete this wall delete this wall uh where's the mess mm. anyway so let's finish this one so oh actually because we already have this group so maybe we can just go edit place it into into this group so um let's do it component so uh, just remember uh, oh, where's that family oh, did I just close it that's fine so I think it's one two three four right so in the five six seven eight so do this uh, you can use t uh, snap endpoint se yeah, yeah it might be easier easier to for you to pick because there are other elements you don't want to you know place onto these curtain walls for example so we can just tab but so uh, just switch between these two endpoint one go here se snap uh, tab right snap endpoint again and go back 
S E. Okay, so one, two, three, four, we have four points. So then do it again. Oh, so uh, yeah, it's a little bit tricky now. So we need to rotate, right? <laughs> uh, let's just rotate this up. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh, hell, which we saw five, six, seven, eight, I think. Yeah, so five. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just use snap endpoint. Six, five, six, seven, eight. So SE again, tab, pick that one, and SE, tab, tab, that one. So, yeah, this is it. So now you can see uh, this is the one. Uh, and then I think we can just, you know, um, oh, sh sure. Yes, yeah, sh let's just change the material. So I just wanted to use the same material as this wall. So I'll just have a look to see what the material. Okay, so Control C. And then we can just select this one. And uh, I think we have a material parameter somewhere. So edit and just control V and OK. So now and finish. So this should, yeah, so that's it. So now I can see it automatically placed onto, uh, into all these groups, right? Because we have this as a array. OK, so I think this is it. So um, I'll just maybe copy, copy one. To here, I'll just have a look. I'll control uh, ungroup it. So I'll see if it's still, yeah, it's still. You know, you can see because it's adaptive family, it automatically adjust if you if you change the size. For example, if I change the thickness of this wall, I'll just um, maybe select these two because I don't want to mess up on that. You know that array. So edit type, I'll duplicate. I'll just change. I'll create a new one. So this time, maybe I'll change this one to maybe two hundred. Okay. So and then, and let's. So you can see automatically, uh, this will adjust the thickness to match because we use a reporting parameter between these two points to uh, control everything. Right. And if we, um, for example, if we if 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 I increase this. You will see it also change. It will also adjust. So, see. Okay. So yep. Yeah, so this is it. Adaptive family to you know create the this middle part. Uh, okay. So I um yeah I I I will upload this family or this Revit file. So this is a oh, it's a project RVT file. So you can have a play. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.